These are the three reasons why you are not fluent in Portuguese yet. In this video, I will talk about why you are not fluent in Portuguese and how to fix that. This video will be a game changer for your Portuguese learning. Hi, my name is Ricardo. I'm Brazilian. I've been a Portuguese teacher for over 20 years and I'm the creator of Portuguese Fluente. Now that I've introduced myself, let's go to the lesson. Let's go to my computer screen. Reason 1. You don't master everyday vocabulary. Being fluent in a language is intrinsically linked to mastering everyday vocabulary. You are not fluent if you can't communicate effectively in a variety of real-life situations. Just to give you an idea of how much you can express, a beginner Portuguese learner knows around 500 words, whereas a learner who masters everyday vocabulary knows around 3,000 words. In addition to equipping you with all that vocabulary, Português Fluente also provides you with useful expressions to make your speech more natural and closer to that of a native speaker. Some examples. E aí? Sei lá. De jeito nenhum. Até agora, tudo bem. Reason 2. You struggle to understand everyday spoken Portuguese. The Portuguese from apps and textbooks sounds like this. Eu vou para a academia. But Portuguese spoken in everyday life is different. We say, Eu vou para a academia. Let me explain what's happening here. Para is the contraction of para and a to the. Eu vou para a praia. I go to the beach. Eu vou para a praia. Eu vou para a loja. I go to the store. Eu vou para a loja. Eu vou para a academia. Para a becomes pra. Eu vou pra. And then we have academia. But we don't say eu vou pra academia. It doesn't sound natural. What we say is eu vou pra academia. Here we have the contraction and here we have connected speech. Connected speech is the way native speakers link and blend words together. And that's what gives a language its flow and rhythm. Let's see more examples of contractions. Contração in Portuguese. In English, I will not becomes I won't. Here is becomes here's. Não é. Né. Em uma. Numa. Now some examples of connected speech. Fala conectada. In English, you don't say next door. You say next door. You don't say, I want to. You say, I want to. In Portuguese, we don't say, por exemplo. We say, por exemplo. Por exemplo. We don't say, as aulas. We blend the sounds. As aulas. This S becomes Z. As aulas. And besides contractions and connected speech, in spoken language, we also have the reductions. Redução. You becomes ya yeah, because becomes cause. Espera becomes pera. Eu estou becomes eu tô. Estou tô. This is very, very used in Portuguese. And speaking of verb estar, Look how we Brazilians use this verb in spoken Portuguese. Prepare yourself. Verbo estar. Eu estou. Eu tô. 
It's like saying I'm. Você está? Você tá? Ele, ela está? Ele, ela tá? Nós estamos. Becomes. Nós estamos. Vocês estão? Vocês estão? Eles estão? Eles estão? This is not incorrect Portuguese. This is just the natural, informal way Portuguese is spoken. Now you know why spoken Portuguese sounds gibberish to you. You haven't internalized contractions, reductions, and connected speech to recognize them automatically when a native speaker talks at a normal pace. So, you find yourself constantly saying como? Eu não entendi. Você pode repetir, por favor? Ok, Ricardo. Got it. It makes sense. And how can I develop this ability to understand spoken Portuguese? This is where Portuguese Fluente comes in. Unlike apps and traditional methods out there, Portuguese Fluente gradually exposes you to the natural rhythm of spoken Portuguese. And this happens from the very first lesson and in various formats, videos, dialogues, cultural topics, and short stories. It's a true immersion into real-life Portuguese. So, the further you progress in the lessons, the easier it becomes to recognize and use spoken language patterns. And besides having all these resources, Portuguese Fluente also familiarizes you with the three most common accents in Brazil. No other course or method gives you this power. Speaking of accents, on my YouTube channel, you will find a comprehensive video on the topic. Your perception of Brazilian Portuguese will never be the same after watching this video. Reason 3. You don't know how to conjugate verbs. Knowing how to conjugate verbs in Portuguese is both essential and challenging. It's essential because if you don't know how to conjugate verbs, your ability to express yourself effectively is compromised. And when I say knowing how to conjugate, I mean being able to use verbs in a fluid way without hesitation in the past, present and future. The challenging part is that unlike English, Portuguese verb conjugation demands more time and effort to learn because it includes several elements not present in English. One of these elements is two distinct past tenses. Portuguese has two different tenses to express actions in the past, which can be a bit complex for English speakers to grasp because English typically uses just one past tense. Don't worry, after all these years teaching Portuguese as a foreign language, I've developed a set of strategies to make verb conjugation feel natural to you. Below this video, I show some strategies I use to make this happen. Now, picture this. Imagine yourself having these three skills. You master everyday vocabulary. You conjugate verbs with ease, and understanding spoken Portuguese is a breeze for you. This is communicating in Portuguese with no barriers. This is Portuguese fluente.